everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on probably what would be the car that I would build for myself. You say, Tone, come on, you've had thousands of cars come through here. What are you even talking about? What? What? This is the car? Well, I'm going to tell you yes. I'm going to tell you what. I didn't, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. When I'm done with this, you're going to find a way to get this in your garage and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So when we think about high performance cars, right? We think about, you know, back in the day, gutting them of everything, biggest engines in there, just so they would go straight and go fast and go down the road. Not even sure if we cared what they looked like, that we just wanted them to go fast. Then we got, you know, maybe a couple dollars working and now we wanted it to look nice too. And now, 50 years later, how are you doing, right? Uh, 60 almost, whatever it might be, however you are old out there, 70. You want this, you want power, you want to hit the key, the scene sounds like you could lose your virginity when it starts up, right? But I want air conditioning, I want four wheel disc brakes, I want to stream my music from my phone. I want to roll on down the road and know that the big wheels and tires and the upgraded suspension and the five-speed transmission, I can wheel on the highway all the way to the beach in my Hemi Roadrunner. Come on, man. We could not have done that back then, and now we can, and this is exactly what we're talking about. This car cost a buck fifty to build. We got tons of receipts on it, right? And it's selling for so much less than it costs to build, and it wouldn't take you two or three years to get it done. You could be driving it this weekend. Let's take some time. We'll walk around this, see what we have, see what makes it so special, and you see why you need to get it in your garage. All right, so I like to talk about paint quality for a minute, and I'll tell you why I like to spend a minute. When you spend $20,000 on paint, you expect something, and $20,000 gives you this car. Why is this car, why does it cost so much to paint this car? Well, because somebody spent an enormous amount of time making sure that this was uh, ding-free, making sure that these long panels, look down the side of this car, these long panels, right, uh, are wave-free and beautiful. Here we have uh, the stripes on this car, which would have been matte, on top of the paint because it's an inexpensive car and that's the way they built it. These are cleared over so you can't even feel them, right? Why is that a big deal? Doesn't everybody do that? Tone? No, everybody does not do that. The reason why I like to have that done is because when you wash and wax this car over and over, right, you don't tear away at the sides of the stripes. It's an extra step. It costs extra money. It's part of the overall picture that we're talking about. No one thing on this car makes it a $150,000 car. It's the culmination of all the years of effort, the years of detail and work, and basically what you're getting is a brand new Hemi Roadrunner. All right, so let's take a peek at the paint quality because that right there, I want to show you two spaces. Here we're going to look at the titanium gray, which is all over the car, which is like amazing. When you say mirror finish, here's mirror finish. You can read every letter crisp and clear. You can read the phone number in there. You can read the website. You can read everything in that. The lighter paints right here, even crystal clear as well, but just, you know, lighter paints are harder to read in a reflection as opposed to black. But look how beautiful that is. Then throw in uh, all new grill, screws, headlights, bumpers, bumper bolts, uh, tag screws. Like every little piece of this is a brand new car. And it's just so cool to be able to get you something like this that you can enjoy this weekend. All right, let's take a peek under here. I'm not sure you're ready for this because maybe you saw some pictures, but there's a lot going on in here. And just like the reveal of many other things in our life, these things take time, man. I just can't show you everything and you be ready to go. But right now, you need to see what we're talking about because if you go to a car show, the world is going to ask for this to be open and so we might as well just get it over with. Okay? Look at this. Whoa. All right. Where do I start? 472 cubic inches of Hemi power. You may say, well, Tone, that's nice. It was 426 and now it's 472. Yeah, but a 426 Hemi from the factory was not a very powerful car. Believe it or not, the six-pack car, the 446-pack car, was equally as fast, if not a little bit faster. However, the Hemi responded to modifications much greater than uh, the 440 did, and then that's exactly what we have here. So we have aluminum heads on top of it, right? Free-flowing everything. Right? We got a lot of power here. I'm going to say that we're right around the 600 horsepower mark, right? An easy 600 horsepower driving down the road. That's great, right? And we have a transmission. So on fifth gear on the open highway, we're just cruising along. I might even take up smoking. I don't know yet. Anyway, we'll get back to that in a second. But the detail stuff and the expensive pieces is what I want to just spend a second going over here, for instance, right? This radiator, all aluminum. 
50% bigger than the standard radiator, okay? Uh, this is called a radiator module because the fans has dual fans built into the radiator, right? These billet overflow tanks. You say, well, Tom, that's not a big deal. You can buy those online. Well, you can, but this is 400, this is uh, 350, uh, and the radiator is another 1500. Well, we're two grand already just in a radiator and overflow stuff, right? Then we have the March Serpentine belt system here, all billet, chrome alternator, chrome power steering, right? Chrome air conditioning compressor. Oh, did you just say air conditioning? This car is air conditioning? Yeah, man, it's got air conditioning, bra. We're older, we gotta have AC and modern heat so you can drive it in the winter, all right? Everything in here is, I don't know how to explain to you, like top of the line stuff, right? SSBC, uh, polish master cylinder, uh, brake booster there. Even these clamps right here that hold uh, the lines uh, for, for the heat part right there uh, are, are uh, made of billet. The air conditioning lines all run inside and hidden around the backside over there. Every little piece is, is just done well. This right here, you can adjust how long that the fan stays on, if you want it to stay on after you've driven it for a while. Cadmium bolts holding in the fenders here. Look at these bolts. Don't, don't spend any time on bolts. That's not a big deal to me. But let me tell you, it is a big deal. It may not seem like a big deal that every bolt in here, but they're 10 times the price of a regular bolt. These are the little things that continue to add up to show you what you have and a car that'll last five or 10 years and still look this way, not a car that was cobbled together with cheap parts, right? Look shiny for a minute and a year later it's starting to rust. All right, so you can't see some of the detail here. The underneath of the car is spectacular. Look at the pictures underneath. Imagine laying underneath your lift, looking up at all the nice shiny pieces and bolts, and then look at that very gorgeous hunk of metal hanging out the back there, the Dana 60 rear end, man. When you got a Dana, anybody who's a car person from behind will know right away, this is not an ordinary road runner. It's just not, because the standard rears, whether it's GM or whatever, are kind of black and whatever, this thing is a truck rear, right? And it's giant and it hangs down and it's designed to lay the power to the ground uh, as a solid piece, all right? And then detail stuff, that sounds nice out there. Detail stuff, right? Let's go a little more farther to detail. Not only is everything painted the way it's supposed to be in here, which it's actually, this car is over restored, right? But everything is polished, waxed. Little stuff that you may not say is a big deal, I'm gonna show you as a big deal. For instance, here's a thousand dollars worth of probably a battery cable and hold down. You say, Tone, who would spend a thousand dollars on a battery? That's my point. My point is not you because you're gonna buy this car for significantly less than it costs to build it, but this has an Optima battery, right? That's around uh, almost 400 bucks delivered. This has a billet hold down system here. That's another 350 bucks, not to mention all the cable right that has to run to the front of the car cleaning up the engine compartment moving the weight to the back the battery back here out of the way because you have a nice big trunk to put in a cooler for just soda right just soda and maybe a nice tea uh, maybe some lawn chairs and whatever if you want to go to a car show or you want to go to the beach man look at this this trunk is set up to go wherever you want the car with air conditioning power steering four-wheel disc brakes all of that stuff is designed for the road all right, so you're walking up to your mean machine, you're walking up to your Hemi Roadrunner. I just don't know what to say, man. When you say Hemi Roadrunner, when you say the word Hemi, right, there is really not many words out there that, that say uh, exotic. Ferrari is exotic. Hemi is exotic. It just is. Anyway, you walk up and you go, wow, this is a great car, but wow, this is my car. Now let's get inside to see where you're gonna spend most of your time and see where a lot of comfort was put into as well. All right, so, so you're in, right? So stuff like this, tilt steering column, custom wheel, because a custom steering column, right? All new seating, carpets, the dash is all restored. Headliner, upgraded gauges, right? The dash over here, all restored. Hidden sound system inside the glove box there, all digital, right? You can stream your music to it, Bluetooth, cell phone, all that stuff if you want, right? Air conditioning vents, modern heat in here as well. You can also throw uh, six people in here to go for a drive if you wanted to. Imagine going out with two couples in this car to dinner. It's a very different experience. Some couple great things you can think about if you wanted to. And people ask me this all the time, so I like to make sure you know this. If you wanted, we could convert this to buckets and a console, right? If you wanted buckets and a console, we could put that in here. If you wanted a kind of a stock wheel or a billet wheel, we could change that from this wheel right here. 
those are some of, the, some of the small things that can be done. If there's something about the car you don't love, then you know what? Ask us. Those are the things that we do here every day, and uh, we want to make it personal. We want to make sure it's yours and get it the way you want it. But at the end of the day, uh, you're not going to get a whole lot more car in this world this weekend uh, than this car right here. All right, so we closed up this video. We can run down some of how do they get to $150,000. Well, you start with twenty dollars to $25,000 worth of body and paint on a car like this. You also have to buy a car like this. An engine for $20,000 probably minimum, right? Uh, this has the Hemi 4-speed in it. This has a Dana rear. Go price all that stuff. You're going to find out that is very expensive. Not to mention... It's so well done. It's not cobbled together. This is a professionally built car with a lot of money spent, man. This is this is what you dream of. Like if you could build this car, it would take you two or three years and you would spend easy, easy a buck fifty. It may even cost you two hundred now to do a car like this. And if you could find someone to start on tomorrow, again, back to my original point, two or three years from now, here's a chance to go ahead and be driving it this weekend, which just blows my mind. Air conditioning, uh, Hemi torsion bars, upgraded suspension, four wheel disc brakes, big wheels and tires. Like this is a driving car, driving person's car with some really nice luxury and an amazing, ridiculous sound uh, when it gets fired up. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Hemi Roadrunner. Uh, if you would, please don't forget to hit the like button down below. That helps get our message out. I appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time and maybe share it with your friends. Uh, you can see that button down there as well. They may like some of the content too and I will see you on the next one.